Let's study 10th standard ICSE poem number 10, The Power of Music by Sukumar Ray. It was published more than a hundred years ago, so I wonder why I'm studying it now. It was published during the British rule in India. At that time, censorship existed. Everything which was published was checked critically by the Britishers because they did not want any anti-government propaganda, something which happens nowadays as well. So these nonsense poems have a concealed criticism. There's a hidden agenda in these poems. Superficially, it looks like a rubbish poem for kids. But there may be deeper meanings in such nonsense poems. This was originally published in Bengali. Later, it was translated by, into English by another poet. And still, it rhymes when you read the textbook. So, it starts with Bhishma Lochan Sharma singing. It is atrocious voice. And you know, some people don't even realize that they are bad singers, but they grab every opportunity and they start singing, thinking that they are impressing the public. So every summer, day starts with that, and it's not music, it's pure noise. But Bhishma Lochan Sharma does not listen to people who are begging him to stop singing at all. All these pleas fall on deaf ears. He is hell-bent, determined, stubborn to continue singing. And his voice reaches the mountains and the clouds and the sky and affects all life present in the vicinity. There's a lot of hyperbole and exaggeration in this poem. So what are the effects of his singing? First of all, the echo of his music travels from Delhi to Burma. Today, Burma is called Myanmar. People start panicking, they trample each other. Some of them fall sick. Old people plead that they are very old and they cannot tolerate it. But Bhisma does not have any empathy towards them. Bullock carts get overturned, horses stand along the road, they stop moving. In fact, they get so irritated that they throw their legs in the air and they start crying. All this exaggeration in this poem is simply to make it a slapstick comedy. Something like, uh, give me a series with slapstick comedy. Tarakman. It's for entertainment. Horses cry, fish dive deeper into the waters because as they go far away from the source of the sound, hopefully the sound's intensity will decrease. It will be less louder. Trees collapse. Birds turn upside down in the sky. People beg that if they continue hearing this music, they may die. Some songs are like that. Example, BTS songs. <laughs> the sky weeps and buildings collapse. This may be happening because of resonance when the frequency of the voice matches the natural frequency of an object. It vibrates with maximum amplitude. Something like opera singers breaking glass, they shatter the glass through their voice. Then, in the climax, a wise goat, so this is personification, a goat has been compared to a wise person, sagacious fellow. He attacks Bhisma with his horns. So finally Bhisma got his match. The goat's bellowing and Bhisma's singing. Bellowing is a, is a sound which goats make. Example? Sound? Go ahead. Yes. And this makes Bhisma stop his singing and finally he's able to give the world the golden gift of silence. Hi students, this is AJ sir. If you found this video useful, press the like button. Also, if you'd like to enroll for my test series or online lectures, email me or message me on Instagram. Check my description for more information.